Hey YouTube, Dilmas RLC, back with another case unboxing this time. We have, I actually have both um, Johnny Lightning Street Freaks 2021 release 4 A and B. Um, they were, A came out, I want to say it was actually released to stores around back in August, and B, uh, the B was released, I want to say it was early October, I think. Something like that. I, I can't remember. I know I... Either way, I picked them up. They were heavily delayed. A lot of stuff. I mean, 2022 uh, release one. Only... Release 1A only just came out within the last couple of weeks from at least for my filling. So I'm, I'm, this is Black Friday or the weekend of Thanksgiving weekend. And I know... Yeah, release A came out... 20, 2022 release 1A came out like a not quite a month ago. Release B, I think, is just starting to get to hobby dealers too. So anyway, um, yeah, this is delayed. I buy these cases from uh, Maze Collectibles, his local uh, dealer. I'll link down in the description. And without further ado, actually, the as a heads up, uh, this video will cut after I open these cases because this is release A. These are release A. Release B, I opened up in his shop. It was a Friday. I figured I'd do a quick uh, unboxing while I was there when I picked them up. Um, so that will it'll cut to that, and then I'll so I'm gonna open these cases. We'll see if I gotta whiten these. It'll cut to the me opening them in his shop, and then I'll actually open them up on card after. So, so we will just get right into it. Let's see how maybe I gotta white, maybe not. So the white lightning traits of this one, I believe, are just a white base and a white interior. It's not, they're not very obvious. Like, you know, so, like uh, earlier, if you saw the video, where I opened the, uh, I forgot exactly which release it was, but with the uh, 61, or the, not 61, 73 uh, Roadrunner Zinger, the orange one, that one with white tires. That was obviously a white lightning. Uh, so, let's go right over here. First and foremost, we got the Projects of Projects uh, 66 Chevy El Camino. This is an auto, originally an Auto World Deluxe casting. They redid it with a metal base to accept uh, Johnny Lightning Real Riders. And so that's, it's a neat way that they're do, getting a secondary life out of these too. So. so not a white lightning there. That's all right. I don't necessarily collect what. Ooh, I think I got one. I don't necessarily collect white lightnings uh, specifically, but um, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, if I get one, cool. As long as it's like a like the way a trait, I don't mind. Like there's certain ones that like they black out the windows. I think those are stupid as hell. Anyway, we got next. We got the seventy Dodge Dart Swinger uh, for the spoilers line. Triple twenty. Um, fourteen four seventy six were made. This is not a white lightning. Um, no white base. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I first saw this, uh, the, uh, yeah, so like, these were made in, Jesus Christ, these were made in October. They didn't get, they didn't come here until almost 10 months later. That's insane. Anyway, um, when I first saw the dart on the list, I actually originally thought it was the LA dart, La dart, uh, that has an engine in the back. This is a drag, is a, I think it's basically a real standing drag car. I thought that was the casting they were going to use, but nope, they're using their normal, uh, it looks similar. I, I should compare this to the, uh, Auto World one, but this is, this is the Johnny Lightning, uh, dart casting that they've had for a while. So, so that's those two. Uh, next we got the 94, 93 Pontiac, uh, Firebird Trans Am for Black with Flames line. This is another uh, originally Auto World cast, Auto World Deluxe casting. They did redid it with a metal base. Um, I'll have to fix that wheel. Maybe I'll I might end up opening this one. Uh, so for the Street Freaks, um, one of the few things I get anymore that like, all right, I want a carded set and a and a uh, what do you call it? Carded set and open. So that's why I actually have two of each uh, mixer. I'll get to that later. This next one is. Uh, 65 Chevy tow truck for the Demolition Derby uh, set. Uh, not much to this one. I didn't realize. Is that a cat? 
Mary whining. It's gotta be a cat. Anyway, <laughs> um, these demo derby cards are kind of neat. Um, I'm a little surprised they didn't, they took the window out of this one, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like they do these cards up in any literally you would see them at a demolition derby. All right, next up, yep, here it is. White base got a white lightning, uh, 66 Chevelle. Um, this is the Auto World Premium uh, casting like they've done a few times. They've uh, done a zinger base for these. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, sucks I won't have another one to open. Uh, I'll have to hit them up next time I'm over at the shop. I'll grab one. But um, I was just there earlier, too. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, yeah, this is the Auto World casting. They've done Zinger Base like they did with the Square Body and the uh, Square Body 73 Roadrunner and the uh, 69 Kingswood is the next uh, round of Auto World Bodies that they did a Zinger Base for. So you're going to go to the side because you will go in a protector. And lastly, at least for this case, we've got the 62... Uh, Chevy Impala Coupe, also an auto world casting with a with a Zinger base. Now, the weird thing, the thing I find kind of weird about this was that uh, couple, I think it was for 2019, they used the uh, like regular Johnny Lightning 62 uh, Bel Air or is Impala. I'm not sure if it's a Bel Air Impala. I can't remember if it's got two or three tones, but um. They did that for the damn cats. They did that for the uh, zinger, and that was only three years ago. And this was, like I said, these were planned for last year. I mean, back in freaking October. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'll have to compare them eventually. We'll do that eventually. I'm not worried about it right now. So that's that one. We'll open up the second case real quick here. Uh, put a little camera. Alrighty. Maybe I got to whiten this one too. So we got our 66 El Camino. Got our 70 Dart. Got our 93 Trans Am. You. I'll open you for sure. Um, got our 65 Chevy tow truck. Six six uh, Chevelle Zinger. And not a white, because I don't see a white tear. 62 Chevy Zinger. All right. Now we will cut over to opening the other cases in Maze's shop. All right, YouTube. Dumas RLC here. I am not live, but filming from uh, Maze Collectibles. You hear me talk about them all the time. He's where I get basically all my cases and stuff from uh it's a quick view of his shop I figure i'm gonna open up a couple johnny lightning street freaks uh the 2021 at least four that are finally out in you know october of 2022 <laughs> figure why not open them right here in the shop so we'll just get right to it oh, thanks man <laughs> Helping too much. No, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's all right. Those ones, that side will just, those just tear right open. So, see what we got here. So I already got, I already grabbed 20, I already grabbed release one or release uh, A. I just never uh, did a video yet, but figured I'm here live. Might as well do it real quick right now. Why not? First up, we got Dart, uh, let's see, what year, 70, 70 Dart Swinger. I want to say this is actually the Auto World Casting, and they're using, 
I'd have to look better. But yeah, so that one's in orange with spoilers on it. And you got a Chevy Wrecker truck for Demo Derby. For this mix, by the way, the white lightnings are uh, white painted base, and I want to say white interiors. So we'll see if I grab one. We got the Project New Progress 66 uh, El Camino. This is actually the um, Audible Deluxe Casting, but with a metal base instead for Giant Lightning release. We got the 93 Pontiac Fiber Trans Am, also a Audible Deluxe Casting, again, but with a metal base. Oh, oh black, pa ba black painted. I didn't realize that before. Okay. <laughs> and obviously my favorite ones of the mixes uh, usually. Zingers, this one being the 66 uh, Chevelle, another auto world casting that they just ended up putting a uh, Zinger base on, as well as 62 Impala, done up in blue, again, auto world body. <laughs> They've been doing that a lot, good way to get multiple uses out of all their castings. So that's that mix, and over here, looks like we do not, at least no white lightning there, but... You all know me, I don't care, because with the Street Freaks, I keep one set carded, and one set I open. We got the truck. We got another Firebird. Dart Swinger. And lastly, 66 El Camino. So, that's that case, no white lightning this time. Not a big deal to me, as I've mentioned before. I'll open these up at home. It'll be just easier because I still got to actually pay for these yet. But. <laughs> I figure just show his shop here. If you're ever in Western New York, pop up to Greece on um, Thursdays through Friday, Thursdays through Sunday, uh, ten to six, and uh, he's got a lot. Come buy it. <laughs> All right, I'll open these up when I open up the uh, release one case. See you. All right, and we are back to open things up. Um, like I said, that was that. Uh, just before it cut back to this, it was um, that was at act at Maze's actual shop in the uh, shops on the ridge over in Greece, New York. Um, there's they're open thir if you're in the area Thursday to Sunday, ten to six. Uh, they're open. His shop up. He's got good prices on stuff, so. Yeah, hit them up. Uh, so we will just get right into opening things up, because why not? Uh, let's see, do I want to organize? Yeah, we'll do these two in pairs. So first up, we will open up the 66 El Caminos. Uh, do version B first, because why not? So save the card. And I'll have to trim that wheel up a little bit. Do that off camera. That's the one thing about Giant Lightnings I don't like right now. Is like sometimes these wheels don't get cut, like trimmed correctly at the factory. So then they get a little deformed when they get assembled. That's something I will fix off camera when we're done here. This is version B, the pale yellow. What do they call it? It's uh. Lemonwood yellow. I guess the actual one of the actual uh, colors that Chevy used back in the day. And this one is Regal Red with their primary. This, is ver this one's version A. Are they both the same name? Oh, they actually named them differently too. Primer Time and Regal Elky. Huh. Normally it was only the Zingers that would have different names. Uh, that's kind of neat that they did that one. They did it with the dart here to notice originally so. and here is the regal red yeah regal red so i like this one a little more like it, the, the the rust is a little more subtle because it's the that dark red color but then i like how like they kind of use like black paint just to symbolize it as if it like wrote it away there on the side another one freaking wheels that did not get trimmed properly so I will do that I'll deal with that off camera 
I said, I, I love granulating, but that is the one downside to these things lately, is they do not um, get trimmed all that clean. All right, next we'll do the Demolition Derby 65 Chevy trucks. These are also different. Clean up and turn four and hold off. I think they, they must have started that with these release, with this release, because I don't recall them doing different names on things for the uh, earlier ones. I'll have to find a good spot for all the trash here. But... axles back over center them up and we're good so like the, like this one wheels got trimmed perfectly fine more or less that one's a little off but not bad opening hood oh yeah the El Caminos they do not have opening hood because the deluxe uh, the deluxe tools did not have opening hoods for them so, so these ones are not and we have the gray one Oh, I can actually do that. Huh. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> Why does that seem off? That's a little off center. That one's fine. This one's a little off center. Yeah, whatever. It's a demo derby truck. Who cares? <laughs> Nothing's going to be perfect over there. So. Yeah. All right, next we'll do Trans Ams because, so with these ones, this, this casting is notorious for this rear wing not sitting well. So this thing they call Fire and Ice and Hot Wings on the red one. So flat black for that. Okay, the wheels. We'll see them all right, so that's good. But this uh, rear wing here, the spoiler wing, whatever you want to call it, is notorious for not necessarily being installed correctly. So as you can see, gap there between the wing and the body. That does become bothersome over time, especially if like you constantly keep seeing that. You can... Well, I'll see if I can throw a little dab of super glue on that and secure it down. But yeah, I like the look of this one more than the red one. Because the one thing I thought, um, you'll see it when I open the red one here. But like, the way this red is. That's one thing I noticed on these two. Some of the oh, okay, there's just schmutz that was on there. Not, not an actual paint issue. There's just some stuff on here. Comes right off. Another, nothing with the wheels, man. I'll, have to, I'll mess with these off camera, but yeah, like right here, you can see the gap between the wing and the body. That's one bothersome thing for these for sure. Again, I could probably throw a small dab of super glue and get it secured down, but in a way I shouldn't have to for these. Especially with prices going up and whatever. But something I'll deal with off camera again. But yeah, so you can see the the red here around the flame, and then it just kinda there's not it's not there. Like I don't know why they did the did it like that. That's why I think the black, the black and blue one looks much better because even though it's flat black instead of gloss, it still blends better, I think, than just having it all red and then, yeah. Anyway, I'll do the darts next because if you watch my videos, you know I have a thing for the zingers. <laughs> Bullseye and triple 20.
You like these ones? Wheels look... It's a little off on the inside there, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, these are... That's just not on there straight. That's all right. And that's fixable. It's, it's one thing when they're not on straight, and you can just fix it when you open them. That I don't mind. Centered uh, cap would have been nice there. That's kind of... Paint got messed up there. These ones are good. So, like, yeah, a little bit like that. Like, it just takes a little finagling once you open them. That's not a big deal to me. It's when, like I said, the, the, they don't get trimmed up well. That's what bothers me with the Johnny Lightning stuff. Haven't seen it so much with the Auto World, so it's just, it's got to be something different with the way the real riders are for Johnny Lightning versus Auto World. Because I know the Auto World stuff, like, they're on solid axles. The, the wheels just get pushed on, whereas these are um, technically three-piece wheels because they are, you got a plastic piece here, and then that's like the same for everything, whereas the the cap and the tire are different for everything. So, And then the white one. Like this, like right here, you can see the one axle is kind of pushed all the way over, pushing a little bit. We're good. So, like that stuff, I don't mind. I can center the axles myself. That's not a big deal. So, yeah, I think this white one looks. This white one looks really sharp. I kind of like this white one over the orange. All right, next we will do. Even though it's not the, even though I don't have the regular another regular one, I'm just gonna open up the regular one anyway. And I'll, just, and I'll toss the uh, next one I buy uh, with the rest of them. I store those away. So we will open up the six six Chevelle Zinger first, the yellow and black one. Chevrolution. So. Ew, I kind of wish I noticed that too. That's another thing is I haven't noticed it so much with the stuff I've bought. This is the first one I've really noticed it. Like the giant lightning stuff, some of them get a little uh, lopsided when they're when they're assembled. They're not quite the bases aren't on quite level, so to speak. So I may end up buying two more of these. Like, it's one of those things, like, sometimes, like, when you leave stuff carded, you don't necessarily notice it when you open them. You almost notice it almost right away. But yeah, I may end up grabbing two of these now. Which is okay, because I actually kind of want to get a few of these for... You don't have too many that have this engine piece. And I want to use... I want more of these engines for some swaps I want to do. So we'll open up the white and green hot as Chevelle. Like even this one's a little this one's a little off too, but it's not as bad. I'll, maybe I'll take a closer look at them when I uh, go to get new ones. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Which one do you like more? I kind of like the white and green one a little hair more than the yellow and black one. Alright, and lastly, we will open up the 62s. 62 Chev or Impalas. We'll do the Huffin' It one first. So yeah, like these ones are assembled perfectly fine. It's the first time, yeah, it's the first I've seen it with the zinger where the bases aren't on great, but yeah, these ones are on. These ones are on perfectly fine. And I, if I was off camera on a lot of stuff there, I apologize. Again, I'm I'm kind of watching my stuff over my camera, over my phone, not looking through the screen because I can't see shit. <laughs> 
All right, and then the blue one in Palomatic. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this blue one more than the teal and green one, or aqua and green. Or what do they call it? What's the one? This one is Zinger Burnout Blue. Uh, the white one is Zinger White Lightning Pro and Zinger Teal, they call it. So, yeah, I think this blue one looks better. But that is it for this video. Uh, that is 2021 Street Freaks Release 4. Uh, what's your thought? What's everyone else's thoughts? Which ones are you? Which ones are you partial to? Do you like your demo de demo derby trucks? Your Auto World Zingers? Your uh, your uh, Auto World Turn Johnny Lightnings? Or good old classic Johnny Lightning's uh, spoilers. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. And have a good one. See ya.